In lesson three, the students um, really investigated the relationship between addition and multiplication. So we went over um, a whole bunch of problems. I think number two really sums up what we're supposed to be doing. So number one, you, number two, you have to write an equivalent expression to demonstrate the relationship of multiplication and addition. So A, they give you an addition problem. So we have to figure out how to rewrite this addition problem using multiplication. Six plus six is the same as writing six times two. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three, plus three. they give us an addition problem. We can rewrite that equivalently with a multiplication problem of three times six. This we can rewrite. We are taking four and we're repeating it five times. So that's four times five. Um, really, multiplication is repeated addition. And we talked about this at length in class today. They flipped it through the exercises. This time they gave us some multiplication and they wanted us to write it using repeated addition. So six times two means you have two sixes repeated in addition. And students and I talked about it and talked about the commutative property a little bit and switching the order of the numbers. Another equivalent way to write six times two would be to write two six times and repeat that in addition. These are both very um, acceptable answers, equivalent expressions. Four times six means you have the number four repeated in addition six times. And another equivalent expression for that would be 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Okay, and the last one um, without uh, any variables in it, 3 times 9 means you have 3 9 times in repeated addition. And the students, I, I talked about how obviously this would be the shorter of the two equivalent expressions, a little easier to write. And then we went to more algebraic thinking with the inclusion of variables in our expressions. Um, and the students talked about how this was h times 5. We talked about how the x we are moving away from using is a representation for multiplication because it can easily be confused with the variable x. So we talked about the dot as a symbol for multiplication. But the most important thing we talked about is writing multiplication like this, 5 times h. When there's no space in between here or any operation, this is indicating multiplication. This is called a term. Okay, with our variable in our coefficient, this is called the coefficient. It's telling you how many of the variable you have in repeated addition, okay? So this is 5h, okay? And they ask you to rewrite this multiplication problem, 6 times y, um, as an addition problem. So 6y really just means that you have 6y's in repeated addition. And this is a sum of what we did in class today with lesson 3 relating addition to multiplication or yes, sorry, relating addition to multiplication.